the emergence of Libra or the announcement of, of Libra is not a surprise, at least to me. Some of us who are watching that space have always felt that the major technology providers, uh, the fan group, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google, um, Alphabet, and so on, they are very well placed because of their platforms, because of the access to consumers. I think Facebook has in excess of 2.3 billion users. They are very well placed, given that network, to do payments. Uh, so I, I'm, I honestly cannot say I'm surprised. Now, Libra is intended to be a digital currency. Uh, one big difference is that it will not be issued by a central bank, but unlike, say, a Bitcoin, it is intended to be backed by some basket of currencies to ensure the stability of the, cur the currency. The bigger issue with Libra, really, and that's what we see warming up now, is whether Libra can potentially uh, rival the US dollar as the world's international reserve currency. And I think coming out of Washington, what we've seen is battle lines being drawn because the US will obviously want to defend its hegemony, which is very much in the US interest. Um, and so you've heard a lot of discussion about whether it's, it's a bank and if it needs a banking license and, 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 and how it will be regulated and so on. And of course, that comes on the backdrop of some of the major issues around privacy and some of the, the breaches that we've seen in the last year or two, um, which has obviously undermined some trust. So we'll watch that space because obviously it's a proposed digital currency uh, which could have long-term impact on the global economy if it is launched and if it, if it, uh, if it succeeds.